Hey guys, welcome to Wagon Club. So in this video, we are going to see how to unmount the steering uh, wheel column of Fiat Palio or Sienna variants. Uh, it's basically a very simple process. You may have to first uh, start by removing these uh, two plastic trims that kind of covers the steering column. And then uh, you may have to unscrew the steering uh, column uh, from the uh, body uh, frame. And once you do that, the steering column will drop down. Uh, you may have to do this uh, pretty much for two big reasons. One, if in case you are planning to uh, remove the dashboard out of the cabin. And the second is if in case you are planning to remove the instrumentation cluster out of the dashboard. Uh, so basically the upper part of the trim is kind of locked by uh, four points okay at this end so what you may have to do is like uh, there's a gap over here for the indicator stock now uh, you may have to give equal pressure at both the sides uh, and then lift it up okay and uh, and if you see the the lower part of this trim uh, this trim is kind of fixed by uh, these three screws over here okay so one over here, one another one here, and the another one here. If you see towards down, there are four screws here. One over here, I guess one over here, other side as well. And also, there's one over here, right? I hope you can see it, right? So we have we have to first remove these four screws, and then uh, the steering mount will drop down. So I'm using number 10 mm socket and a ratchet. As you can see, the wiring connectors in the combination and ignition key switches are still holding the steering column. Disconnect them one by one carefully. Make sure you identify which one goes into which one so that you don't match them incorrectly later. Make sure you disconnect the battery before doing this step. Do note that this car doesn't have the key code system, therefore the engine immobilizer control unit mounted to this cluster is actually missing. If in case your car has the key code system, ensure that you double check the wiring connections to the immobilizer unit when you refit the connection. 